Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another Louis Vuitton reveal for you. Um, reveal and review. So I hope you're having an awesome day and let's get to it. Uh, today I'm featuring the Louis Vuitton Speedy in the Mini Lin. And this is a size 30. Uh, this was my very, very first LV purchase, so lots of sentimental value. I bought it back in 2008. Um, it features a nice sort of fabric material. This is in the darker color. At the time, it came in a white color as well. Um, still in excellent shape. Um, I haven't really used it too much, but uh, I do love it. And it has one little snag right there. That's what I worry about. Um, it has the gold hardware and features the nice leather uh, handles. Um, so you don't have to worry about any patina and that's the 30 size. You can just hold that on your arm there. Um, and it also features it, the super cute LV logos here um, and it's not so in your face like the traditional big LV logos um, on the traditional Speedy and it's just different and unique and I'm all about different and unique and it just definitely it matches everything. Uh, you could be going out, you could be casual, wearing jeans. Uh, it was called the Mini Lin uh, fabric before but now it's called the Ideal. Um, I-D-Y-L-L-E Speedy um, and also that one the newer version features the bandolier which is the strap and it goes all around there and it has like the longer strap that you can wear cross body but I think um, it is that line has been uh, discontinued but they do still have some pieces online if and luggage pieces if you'd like to get this fabric material. So let's have a look inside. Um, when I store it, I do store it with the bubble wrap just to keep its shape. Just to keep its shape. And at the time, um, I was obsessed. I'm a little bit OCD, so if you can see in here, I have a purse organizer. It's super cute. I totally forgot that I bought this. It's been in the closet for so long. Um, but it's a nice hot pink color. It's super, super cute. Um, I'll have to figure out where I bought this from. I bought it online. Um, it just doesn't have a bottom there. I don't like it to make it too heavy, but this um, purse organizer um, has a whole bunch of slots all the way around. You can fit all your things in it. And it's kept the shape of my Speedy in the closet. Now, I uh, just wanna show you what fits in my bag. Um, so these are, are my regular everyday essentials. Uh, this is from J. Crew. Um, that's a little pouch with my wallet and stuff. So that'll go in there. See, lots, tons of space. I have my coach little pouch here. And we'll go in there. Still tons and tons of space. I have my cell phone case and holder. Leather, pink, hot pink leather, it's super cute. And last, we have my six key holder from Louis Vuitton, Damier. That fits in there, and I still have a lot of space there. Yeah, but that looks pretty good. And just carry that around on your arm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you find Speedy's heavy at all? Too heavy for your arm? Sometimes I feel like it's a bit of a workout. I do kind of just hold them like this. Sometimes I do wish there was a strap on it, but I do like the classic look of this without the strap, um, but it would be convenient. Um, you could also um, attach an extender. They have Louis Vuitton, they sell um, straps that you can connect. They would connect here and here if you wanted to use it uh, as a shoulder strap. Um, but to be honest, I do kind of find this a little heavy for shopping and such. So I only bring out 
my Louise on special occasions. Um, I'm more of a collector and admirer, um, but I do need to start using them more or use them as uh, workout gear. <laughs> also, there is a small pocket, like with all the speedies. It has a little very slim pocket in there if you wanted to keep receipts and such. Oh, I got something in here. Uh, looks like it is the tag for anybody who's interested in the code and also looks like I kept the lock and key in here too. That's what's in there. There's a ton of items in there. Oh, here's the bottom of the bag. Not, not too much sagging. So that's my quick review and reveal on the Mini Lens BD30. And uh, comment below if you'd like to see more of these videos. Also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!